This is Gary Schnitke, and this is a five-minute Farm Doc Daily dealing with corn and soybean price changes. In the past year, we've seen large changes in corn and soybean price changes, and a lot of those had to do with COVID-19 control measures. We looked at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange prices, the harvest time prices for the December corn contract and the November soybean contract. Between 2018 and 2019, those prices averaged 411 for corn and 953 for soybeans. They came down a bit in February of this year, February 2020. They averaged 388 and 917. Those prices also are the prices that were used to set crop insurance uh, insurance policy products. Since then. We saw the introduction of COVID-19 control measures and both corn and soybean prices fell. Corn prices went from 388 to 321 on August 7th, and soybean prices went from 917 down to 868. Corn prices fell more than soybean prices during that period. And then in recent months, they've increased 366, 367 was the corn price in the first week of October compared to 1015 for soybeans. Throughout all those price movements, the profitability of soybeans relative to corn has increased. That can be seen by looking at the soybean to corn price ratio, and that ratio has increased over time. As we went from summer to currently, we've seen that ratio go from 2.40 to 2.7. Overall, as we see the soybean to corn price ratio increase, soybean prices increase relative to corn prices, and that makes corn or soybeans relatively more profitable than corn. And again, If you're looking at COVID-19 control measures, they have had more of an impact on corn prices than soybean prices, primarily because COVID-19 reduced driving and travel, which had an adverse impact on ethanol demand, and livestock or meat demand also decreased, which impacts both corn and soybeans, but corn as well as soybeans. But those measures have had detrimental impacts on corn more than soybeans. As a result, we are expecting corn to be less profitable than soybeans, and that will continue a trend of soybeans being more profitable than corn that has started in 2013. If we look at FBFM, farm business, farm management records from years from 2000 to 2018, we saw corn more profitable than soybeans prior to 2012, And during that period, we were seeing ramp up of corn in the use of ethanol, and corn was more profitable than soybeans. And since 2013, soybeans has been more profitable than corn. It looks like 2020 and 2021 will be the same. As we're looking at 2020, we're looking at soybeans being more profitable than corn, and we expect the same thing in 2021. As we're sitting here today, farmers may want to consider that as they begin to make their 2021 planting decisions. And again, it looks like soybeans will be more profitable than corn. You can read more about this in our Farm Doc Daily article, and you can see that linked in this YouTube description.